Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to the James Den Show. I have a surprise for you that I've been playing a lot on PC, especially on Steam. It is called American Truck Simulator. You can see it right here on my right, my right hand shoulder. And let me tell you, this game is phenomenal. It's fun. It's entertaining. It helps you learn how truck drivers out there in the real world actually make a living. You, you start off being a, a low a low budget man who's just working for other companies and then you work your way up to build your own empire your own trucking company it's very 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 uh entertaining it's a massive massive open world much larger than you will get in train simulators or train sim world where you're just stopping at stations but you're only limited to a certain amount of areas covered between america and england but like here in American Truck Simulator, you're hitting Los Angeles, you're hitting all of California, you're hitting all of Arizona, and you're hitting all of Utah and Washington, D.C. I mean Washington State, not Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. probably will be coming down later on down the line. I don't know if they're going to be making a DLC pack for the East Coast side. But let me tell you, you got a lot to do on the West Coast. It's so much of big cities, small towns that you'll be delivering to that it's gonna take you months and maybe years to conquer all of that space and deliver all that uh, the, all that delivery. Now, you're, you're wondering, James, truck simulator, really? You're not into that. Trust me, you will like this. It may be a little bit expensive on the side when you have to buy a steel wheel and buying the, the brakes and the gas and the clutch to do your gear shift. But that's later on down the line. If you can master it doing your Xbox controller, just try that for a while. Then when you're ready to upgrade and put more money in advance and, and invest into a steering wheel like me, I have a Logitech G29, which has a gas, brake, and clutch, but I didn't get the gears yet because that was the extra 50 bucks for that one. Um, but I am working on getting that one because I want the full truck experience with the gear shifting. So right now I'm dealing with automatic. But let me tell you, there's a lot of people in this community who have played Truck Simulator, who love Truck Simulator, and who has not only modified it from what the creators of this company had done, um, but a lot of people had added mods to bring in this world into the Truck Simulator. Now you'll see some Jack in the Box in previews as you see up here. Uh, you'll see some uh, Walmart, you'll see some CHPs, you see some iconic areas that you haven't even seen before in a truck sim world. Like uh, there's a mod for even showing Santa Monica Pier off of Highway 1. Wow! We never even thought of having something like that in the truck simulator. But you get these mods for free, uh, you download them, and then you just go ahead and play the game. Now the object of this game is, is to start off small, work for other people like FedEx or UPS or Walmart. Yes, people, there's Walmart in here. You do deliveries for Walmart. Uh, you do those deliveries, you take them from one uh, um, area to the next. Um, in this video, I did from Los Angeles to Barstow and I made a delivery. Uh, I was delivering with a FedEx truck. It's, it's wonderful. You have an open world, like I said. Uh, you get all the enemies that the truck drivers in the real world gets. Like, you have to stop at way station. You have to make sure you don't pass uh, the, the, the lights when it's red or you get a ticket or you get a fine or you get pulled over by police. You got to watch your speed because you get a ticket for speeding. And you also get a ticket for not going to sleep. You get fined. Not a ticket, but a fine. You get fined for sleep, but for not sleeping. So if you go past your eight hours, like the real truckers out here, your log has to record up to eight hours. If you go anywhere past eight hours, then you get a fine. And your fine bills, for the longer you keep driving, the longer you don't get no sleep, the bigger the fine is. But it doesn't stop there. You start to fade in and out. And then next you know, bam, you start crashing your truck because you are exhausted. How real is that? I'm telling you, I'm impressed with American 
truck simulator. I think this uh, program is very fun. It's very entertaining. It's good for children as well as learning how to drive a truck or learning anything about a truck. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get into this gameplay.